What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome to our Pokemon Silver walkthrough, or welcome back to the walkthrough. Last time we made our way through Route 8 west of Lavender Town, then headed north through Route 5, stopped by Cerulean City before defeating more trainers on Route 9 and reaching this lovely Pokemon Center on Route 10. And in today's video, we've got some crime to stop. Or really just one idiotic Team Rocket grunt that, you know, thinks Team Rocket's still alive, but they're not. So yeah, what you're going to want to do when you first come to Route 10 is surf down. And that is how you will reach the power plant, just like the original games. Also, I believe you can find Electabuzz on this route, which I want to say is the first time you can find them in these games. But I'm not positive on that, so you know, don't quote me. Um, but yeah, there's more grass down here, but we just want to head straight into the power plant and the thing or sorry the person that we're gonna want to talk to is the head guy which is in this like blue room standing by one of the generators or whatever and Yeah, he's pretty mad because someone stole a part of his generator and now the machine won't work meaning the power is out here in the Kanto region so as soon as you talk to him you can start to head out but the security guard will stop you and he's gonna say that a shady dude has been wandering around cerulean city maybe he's the one that has the machine part so yeah that's kind of your clear hint to head back to cerulean so let's do that all right so i am back here in cerulean city and i'm standing in front of the gym now don't worry there's still no gym trainers or you know misty in here However, there is a Team Rocket grunt who is like sprinting out the door and he kind of talks like Yoda, you know, a little bit of broken English, but that's what makes this guy pretty funny. He's like, you not her, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. And it's just some pretty funny dialogue. But um, yeah, basically he just got done hiding the machine part here in the gym and he accidentally like told you too much information. Now, um, yeah, before you go chase him down, you might as well... Head over to the... which one is it? Top left part of this water? Yeah, there it is, the machine part. So it is hidden, but you know, it's pretty easy to find. And yeah, that will go into your key items. And now you have the machine part, but you still sort of have to take care of that rocket grunt who made his way north onto Route 24. That's right, you know, 24 and 25. They're still in these games. We're probably not going to check them out until the next episode, though. But we will, you know, just uh, just dip our toes into Route 24 because that's where the Rocket Grunt is hanging out right here. And he's going to end up battling you. Now, don't worry, you know, he's just like any other Team Rocket Grunt. He's got, like, a Golbat and that's it. But, um, yeah, he's literally, like, similar to the Grunts we fought in the Radio Tower back in Goldenrod, which is just sad, man. I hate to say it, but these levels are atrocious. So yeah, let's uh, take down this Golbat super quickly. I'll hit him with an Icy Wind. And then after you do this, you can head back to the power plant and save the Kanto region, basically. Because I guess ever since we started our journey, the Kanto region has been out of power. I mean, that's a pretty long time. We are on episode 50 and Kanto still doesn't have any power. But yeah, so if you thought you were done with Team Rocket after the radio tower, technically you still have this grunt here, um, but you know, he's really nothing. But that is officially the end of Team Rocket in gold and silver. Also, I guess I kind of did that in the wrong order. He's supposed to tell you where the machine part is, but I mean, I just showed you it. It's pretty easy to find. And now let's get back to the power plant. Okay, so I am back in front of the power plant, and let's go ahead and hand the machine part to the guy. And, uh, yeah, this will, as I just said, save the power in the Kanto region, so now you can take the underground tunnels, and, you know, the magnet train will be working to take you from Saffron to Goldenrod. And you will also get TMO7, which is Zap Cannon, probably the strongest... Um, electric type move you can get however it is very inaccurate it's only 50% accuracy but at the same time if it lands it will always paralyze the opponent so you know high risk high reward um, for now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and surf and we are going to head back down towards Lavender Town and that means going through the rock tunnel so yeah let's get back up there now that you have the power back on though if you really want to progress, you can head north into Route 24 and 25, you know, go 
above Cerulean City because you actually do need to go through those routes since um, Misty will be up there and you need to talk to her in order for her to get back to the gym. But we're going to do that in the next episode as I said. Um, there's another little side quest you can do with the power back on. But, oh boy, you do still need Flash. Okay, well, good thing I have someone in the PC for that. I think it's like Hoot Hoot. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's in Heart Gold and Soul Silver where they got rid of the darkness. But, yeah, as I was saying, now that the power's back on, there's one more little side quest mission thing you can do in Vermilion and Saffron. And I'm thinking I will save that for the end of the episode because, you know, I might as well. We're already over here by the Rock Tunnel anyways, so I don't want to you know, add any more cuts into, uh, into this video. I feel like there's been enough already. But yeah, now that we have our trusty boy Hoot Hoot, we can light up this cave and get through it relatively quickly. There's a bunch of items you can get, as well as a pretty solid TM. Uh, most of the hidden items, though, are, like, X items, so I'm probably not really gonna check for them unless they're in, like, a very obvious spot, like this X accuracy right here. Also, I have no space in my bag, so yeah, but Rock Tunnel is relatively straightforward. It's, you know, pretty different than uh, the Kanto or from the original games. Um, there's an iron that, yeah, I'm not going to bother picking up. That one's not hidden. I think there's also a hidden max potion, which would be nice to find, but if I don't get it, then, you know, it's not the end of the world. And I apologize in advance. I'm probably going to check a couple of those little crevices just because I feel like there could be a hidden item in them. But let's take this ladder back to the first floor. Oh, also, let me quickly check. I don't think there's any new Pokemon you can find in here. I believe we are good. I don't know. There's some cool stuff like Kangaskhan and Marowak, though. So if those pique your interest, you know, they're definitely not bad options. Um, Yeah, I think we're on, like, the final... Or no, we're going to be on the final area soon. Now, all I really want to get in here is that TM. And I'll go ahead and say it's the TM for Steel Wing, which, you know, could definitely come in handy. A lot of flying types can learn it, which would be a good encounter. Encounter? No, a good counter for rock types. There's a revive that we can actually fit into our bag. Let's uh, keep on going through anything down here. Yes, another item, which is a PP up. We will take those. I think that's just a dead end. So let's head all the way over to the left. I think up here's the next ladder. And now we're in the final section, and I believe... On one of these platforms is the TM. Yeah, it should be right here. All right, so there's the item we were looking for. Cool. So, yeah, now the exit is just below us. But first, there's an elixir if you want it. I'm not going to bother picking it up. And, yeah, let's head on outside to the southern part of Route 10. Now, I think there is, yeah, no grass here or anything. There's just two trainers to battle. And they each only have one Pokemon. There's also no items to get. But uh, I'll go ahead and show off these fights, because why not? And yeah, once again, the whole goal of coming to Lavender Town is because we've restored the power. And we are going to get a very important item from a guy in the Lavender Radio Tower. So yeah, definitely make sure you don't miss out on this. And this level 35 Machamp might be like the strongest one, or strongest Pokemon we've fought here in the post game so far. I mean, hey, I gotta respect this random hiker for pulling out him a champ. I'm surprised, you know, he's got a friend that will trade for him. Didn't know he had friends in the first place. Oh, that was a really bad roast. And that's what I get for roasting him. A freaking crit. My goodness. Okay, thank goodness UPS hung on somehow. And, uh, yeah, the Machamp's gonna go down. Dude, karma can get you sometimes. Holy smokes. Okay, hiker Jin. It's not that serious. Um, the next guy's gonna have a Quagsire, so yeah, perfect. We've got Pear out front. So, is he over on the left? I can't remember. He might be... Okay, yeah. Looks like he is down here. So, technically, he's still on the left side. Let's take him on real quick, and then, as I said, we will get the uh, card that will allow us to get the Pokey Flu station on our um, Pokey Gear radio thing. So, that's very nice. But yeah, let's hit this Quagsire with a Razor Leaf. And that should do it for him. And I don't think there's anything else you can get here in Saffron. Sorry, not Saffron. Lavender Town. Now that the power has restored. I think it's just this one item. 
But yeah, there we go. We took him down, and you know what? I'm probably going to go ahead and add Sudowoodo back to the team. I don't think we need Cut or Flash anymore. That's like the only time we're going through the Rock Tunnel. Even though it was pretty simple, I just don't want to do it again. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deposit the Hoot Hoop. And Sudowoodo, I feel bad for you. You just haven't been on the team at all in this episode. But hey, you're coming back on, Sean. Welcome on back, my dude. Alright, so we withdraw him, and I think there's no more trainers we're going to be battling. I know this episode was, you know, kind of lacking many battles, but we had to get all this side quest junk out of the way. So yeah, let's talk to the gentleman that we talked to when we first got to Lomner Town, and he's like, Oh my gosh, you saved the power, I didn't lose my job, here, take the EXPN card. So I was right with the title of it. But yeah, as I said, now that you have that, you can access the Pokey Flute Station in your Pokey Gear, and that's what will wake the, um, whatchamacallit, the Snorlax on Route 11. And now you can get through the Diglett's Cave, or Diglett's Tunnel, whichever one it's called. I honestly forget, and that's kind of sad, because, like, that's a pretty prominent place in Kanto. But anyways, you can reach Pewter City through there and access kind of the western side of... Canto, but for now, we have one more thing that I want to do in this episode, and this one's going to be a shorter one, but that's okay. So, yeah, let's talk to... I believe she's on the left side of town. Not this way, that's a dead end. Because of the stupid Silvco, it just sits, you know, so tall. But, yeah, on the left side of town, there's going to be a house, and there's, like, a daughter that specializes in copying people. That is not you, I just accidentally pressed A. Um, but yeah, she specializes in, like, copying people, and I think she'll even, like, turn into your overworld sprite, which is kind of cool. But I want to say it's this house. It should have the upstairs. Yeah, this is the one. And she's actually going to tell us that she lost her Pokey doll. And if we get it for her, she will give us a rail pass, which is what will uh, allow us to get on the magnet train, which, you know, goes from Saffron to Goldenrod. So that's a pretty easy way to get from Kanto to Johto. So, let's get over to Vermilion. Alright, so yeah, if you missed that dialogue, she said she last had it in Vermilion City, so that's kind of your hint. And you're gonna want to walk into the Pokemon fan club and talk to the guy on the left, because you can see there's a pretty obvious Pokedoll sitting in the chair next to him. So, he's gonna um, ask us to take it back to the girl, because he didn't realize that, you know, it was a lost or whatever. So, yeah, we're just such good Samaritans, you know? Um, hopefully Karma will, uh, you know, bless us this time around and not hurt me like it just did a second ago. But yeah, let's just head through Route 6 once again. I don't think I'm going to do another cut, except we just ran into a wild Pokemon. Are you serious? Really, Oddish? You had to be that guy? Come on now, buddy. Come on now. Alright, run away from you. But yeah, I feel like I've had enough cuts in this episode, so yeah, we're just doing everything legitimately. But yeah, let's head back to the copycat girl's house, or mimic girl, I can't remember which one she is, I think it's copycat. But yeah, this is just the other little side thing you can do if you want, the rail pass isn't required or anything to beat the game. But yeah, will she turn back into us? No, I think she's just too excited that we got her Pokedoll. So yeah, we get the magnet train pass, or rail pass, or pass, whatever the heck it's called. And yeah, as I said, you can use the magnet train now. So, we have restored power here in Kanto, but I think that is going to do it for part 50. Kind of an underwhelming part 50, but that's okay. Next time, we are heading north of Cerulean City onto Route 24 and 25 to put Misty back in her gym. She's been slacking recently. And yeah, then in part 52 is when we will actually take on the gym. Even though the gym isn't even that long, so maybe we squeeze it into the next episode. Guess you guys will just have to wait and find out. For now, though, have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, deuces.